Hello from Shraddha from Love Pie. Today I have done an easy recipe, chicken chipotle salad. It's bursting with flavors, simple to put together as all my recipes are, loaded with vegetables, protein, fat, etc. Perfect for a weeknight or even on weekends. The other thing you can do is have all the ingredients spread on the table and have everybody mix their own bowls. Works really well in parties as well. It fills up the table and people enjoy making their own bowls. Those who are vegetarians can omit the chicken and make it vegetarian. It does have black beans so you have protein there and avocado is giving it the good brand. A lot of vitamins and minerals from the veggies and it's a very filling salad. All the ingredients to the recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look. If you like, to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Until next time, bye-bye. Today we are going to be working on some chipotle chicken salad. For that, I've got some black beans in a bowl. I'm going to wash it, drain the water and then add some more water and soak it overnight. I have drained the water which we had soaked it in, added fresh water added our beans to a pressure cooker and now we are going to give it a few whistles until our beans get thoroughly cooked. Let's check if our beans are done. Yes, the beans are looking thoroughly cooked. We are going to drain this water and use it for something else and use the drained black beans in our salad recipe today. Let's take some corn and add it to a pressure cooker and cook it until our corn gets thoroughly cooked. Let's marinate our chicken first. In a dish, let's add some coriander powder, some pepper powder, smoked paprika, cumin powder, oregano, and some salt, salt to taste. Let's mix all the dry ingredients first. Next comes in some garlic paste and some grated onion some adobo sauce from a can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce lastly some freshly squeezed lemon juice let's mix all the ingredients well until we get a homogeneous mix so we can marinate our chicken into this beautiful marinade i've got some chicken thighs which i have cubed and i'm going to add it to the marinade Coat the chicken pieces well with the marinade and make sure you leave it at least for half an hour or longer if you can for marination. Our chicken has been marinating for 4 hours. I've heated a grilling pan and now I'm going to cook my chicken in here. Just let your chicken cook. Our chicken is cooked. I'm going to take it out in another bowl and keep it for now. Let's work on our chipotle dressing. Take a bowl. Into the bowl, we're going to add some Greek yogurt or hung curd, mayonnaise. This is a chipotle pepper in adobo sauce, apple cider vinegar, onion powder, garlic powder, and a wee bit of salt. We're going to just mix it until it's well combined. After you have mixed it well and you feel it's too thick, you can add a wee bit of water. Don't add too much. Add little at a time and get your consistency felt. Yes, I feel it's fine now. I'm going to keep it aside for now. But I'm going to keep it refrigerated. Let's work on our salad now. Take a bowl. Into the bowl, we're going to add all our ingredients. Black beans, cherry tomatoes, diced yellow pepper, diced red pepper, onions, a bit of celery, the corn which we had boiled, the chicken which we had cooked and some Lolo Rosso red lettuce. You can use any lettuce that you have handy, it's not necessary to use this. You can use a mixed bag of greens also, some jalapenos. We're going to just mix this first. Now we're going to add in our dressing which we had made and toss our salad. Remember, if your dressing starts getting thick before you are ready to serve, please thin it out a little. You can add water or even little apple cider vinegar can be done. You will see how it is. Taste your salad. Now we have to add some avocado. I am not going to add in toss because I will just serve it straight. 
and just before serving add some tortilla chips if you want it's optional it's up to you if you want to add it or not this is a very healthy recipe it's a good balance of protein and fat you can make it vegetarian by not adding the chicken you can also do some paneer marinade and add it if you feel like otherwise this is perfect for non vegetarians and we eat it as a meal but it works beautifully on the side as well in summers so this is just apt to eat just as is so give it a try guys thank you